Okay, guys. I'm about to turn up on part two of this project. I got the dumpster just arrived today, and I got to get this house there so we can get it on the market. I'm gonna do the entire thing, probably mostly by myself. Christian and the kids gonna help me as much as they can. And um, I'm turning up already, so let me show y'all what I've got done so far. Okay, it's a mess in here. I'm removing the towel. And myself, I'm expecting to have this whole kitchen um, demolished before the end of the day. It's a mess out here. Old dishwasher, garbage. Uh, man, we just got stuff all over here. I removed one of the sheds already. Uh, gotta get the other one all this junk from back here uh, but in the house I gotta go nuts it's filthy in here stuff is everywhere I just tore down all of this crap moved all the uh, this section so far I'm gonna work my way all the way around changing this one um, patio door I got a really nice one and change out so I can have it in the dumpster I got the dumpster for seven days and today is the first day so I get all this stuff out uh, yeah, this section is next. I'm gonna tear these towels out. I'm gonna take the fridge out. And as far as the front room, we're still moving some things. Not much to do. I'm ripping up all this carpet. I'm gonna tear up all this carpet. Just took these doors off. Gonna get it clean up in here. Spiderwebs all over the place. Uh, my office, well, my old office, it's pretty much done. A really nice fireplace for this house. I'm gonna make it. This house is gonna look beautiful when I'm done. Uh, this bathroom. Uh, gotta get all this stuff out of here. I'm redoing everything. So, uh, closet. Just about empty. The upstairs. Uh, we'll go up there in a second. I'm gonna get the bottom stairs done first, and then we're gonna go upstairs and tackle the upstairs. Hey guys, got the doors installed, leveled. Uh, I'll take a look at it outside.
Boom! <laughs> Okay guys, the garbage is gone. They took the dumpster this morning and they didn't get much done today. Uh, the rest of the garbage that's in the house, I'm gonna pile some garbages up and um, set it out for the garbage here. Come, uh, they picked the garbage up Friday out here. Okay. Done out of here. Uh, of course, I've showed this area the doors installed finally. I'm not putting a screen door with a screen up yet. I don't want nothing to happen to it. Well, I can't slide it to the back side, uh, so I'll probably pop that up because I don't want to happen to it in here neither. So, yeah, we're gonna finally pull up the carpet out of Rihanna's old room. Steal his closet's a mess. I Man, like I said, you just can imagine being in this place for 16 years and the things we've accumulated. Uh, bathroom. Uh, I had just put those tiles down long notes, so I'm gonna redo them over. I'm gonna um, grab them. My room, they got a, my old office, they got a thing of just friggin' just pile stuff up in here since I got my stuff cleared out. But waiting on somebody to pick this desk up, this huge office desk. Uh, yeah, I'll take it out last. But desk, where are we at? We got the upstairs bathroom pretty much cleared out. This room is. Uh, gotta remove some carpet towels and just junk everywhere. This is a lot of this stuff is from the attic. Um, clear this attic out. So a lot of that stuff is from that attic, this part of the attic. The other attic on the other side, it's pretty much clear to the entryway. It's the part right there. So, uh, bathroom is pretty much cleared out. And our whole room is still got stuff in it. But, I tossed this bed out, had it for some time. That attic is cleared out. Yeah, so we're gonna clean up um, tomorrow. I'll have everything cleared out. And it's time to get started and turn up. Next week, I'm expecting to have a whole lot done before the end of next week. It'll just be a huge improvement on the place. Like I said, it's not bad. Some things I'm gonna have to fix, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it look incredible. So just wanna give you guys an update where I'm at today. Uh, the garbage was here for seven days, took it this morning. So we're seven days into this project um, and I'll put the budget so far, what, we, what we've spent or what I've spent um, in the description box so you guys can see where we're at. As we renovate this property on our strict budget. So. Um, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. I'm about to hit you guys with so much content. It's gonna be crazy. I'll be posting videos daily. So, um, Terrence and I'm out. What's up guys? Terrence here. It's like 81 degrees, 9 a.m. Well, it's about 10 now. It's about 10 a.m. And I'm in God mode. Wait, let me kind of clear that up. Cause I'm, my faith is through the roof. Whenever I say I'm in God mode, that means I'm, I feel like I'm powered by God. I don't stop. I just keep going and going and going. Two hours of sleep a day and I just keep going. I've been resting at the house. Give me two hours, two, three in the morning, wake up at five and I'm back at it again for the last few days. And I'm probably gonna be like that for the next 
maybe week or so. I'm in God mode. That means I'm powered by God. And I just keep going, I keep pushing. So I'll show you guys what I've done so far, what I'm doing today. All right, guys, I just picked up the cabinets. Well, I'm picking them up right now from Home Depot. Loan by myself, do everything by myself. Use two cars, powered up everything. And I asked for assistance in there, but the guy took forever, so I just did it by myself. Yeah, but we're getting the cabinets on. And uh, I'm gonna get back to the house. I'm gonna strap this thing down. Okay, I'm done with the kitchen. Just had a major spot there. I'm done fixing all the walls, all the spots. There was a hole here, not a hole, but some patchwork there, around here, here, the wall. The edge was kind of jacked up on all the walls. So I primed everything down. I left those um, blind brackets up. I could have took them down, but I'm putting some new blinds up there and they're not hurting anything. Uh, I'm pretty much done in the kitchen for now. Done a little pantry. This wall was kind of jacked up too up here. Uh, yeah, so if that was like that, I started to replace it back. I just left it as it was because the cabinet would be back right there. So uh, yeah, I'm pushing nonstop and I'll show you guys where I'm at with this. Uh, you know what? Let's take a look at where I'm resting at. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in the bathroom. Now I'm about to be in here, knock this out. Some patchwork up there. Um, not much really to get this ugly color off this wall. Um, gonna paint this room out. I've done some patchwork in here. I thought those were some spots. Those were pieces of tape. Kind of removed that tape. And yeah, I'll be painting in here as well today. And <clears throat> I'm gonna try to knock this room out too. Yeah, I had so many things hanging up on the wall. There were screw holes all over the wall on this area where my desk was at. So I have to patch those holes up. I'm gonna be painting in here today. We're priming. And this has been my headquarters. This has been, uh, I left the chair back and I or either rest my head up on the pillow or I kick my legs back and I fall asleep here. But this has been um, my bedroom, the headquarters, and when I rest or take a quick break and I'm back started. So kind of keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. When I get done, it's gonna look amazing. I promise you that. And stay in tune, subscribe to the channel. I'm not gonna film the entire process. Just wanna show you guys step by step because I got so much on my plate and we gotta get this house on the market. So I'm gonna make it look really, 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 really nice. I order all new lights. Those lights, I don't like those bulbs. I order all new light bulbs, uh, LEDs. Uh, yeah, it's gonna look really good. Gonna paint, paint the cabinets, get those back up looking nice. Uh, new fridge, new stove, new dishwasher, um, new countertops, new sink. We're gonna install all that. The backsplash I got gonna look beautiful. The flooring gonna look amazing. So, can't wait. To, I'm excited so you guys can see my work. And like I said, I'm by myself and I'm knocking out everything. But stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I upload the latest content. 
and subscribe to the channel, man, so you guys can see all the awesome things I'll be doing from now into the future. So, Terrence and I'm out. Just leave Menards, guys. Got my stuff. Bought me some vitamins. I'm out of vitamins. I'm waiting on my order from GNC. It hasn't arrived yet. Just grabbed something. Uh, got my stop stone. They replaced the towel. That was bad. I wish he could have sold me the other four out the box, but he said he had to take them back. So that sucks. To buy a whole nother box. All right, guys. Done prepping everything. Just I'll be in the kitchen after I get through with both bathrooms. I'm almost done. I'm pretty much done with every other room as far as painting and everything. But I'm in the upstairs bathroom now. And here's the snap stone towel. This bathroom is five by five, 25 square feet. Alright guys, I'm just leaving my knots. Loaded up off my cart already. Upstairs, bathroom vanity. Some snap stone towel. Uh, another cabinet. And I got paint and all kind of other stuff. Another Ridiculous out at Menards. It's like I live in Menards. Done with the sink. It turned out great. You ain't got no video that's working together. Yeah, you snapped out. Like the whole door is that color too. If you wanna do me a favor and get the brush, so I can, when I roll it, look, do between these gaps on both of them. Right now? Yep. Yep, do it all around it. Look at the camera. This camera is nice. We're trying to get the house together, get rid of it. Okay guys, I just opened up another box. I bought nine boxes. I have the big planks, the, uh, they're eight, a little eight inches wide, 59 inches long. Let me see, where is that to be exact? 8.7 inches, 59.4 inches long, uh, six planks per case, but they're so big, they take up a lot of square footage. One tile does, and it has this unique, I mean, these are waterproof, it says life proof, lasts just as long as the life of the house. <laughs> 
But um, just walking on the ones I've installed already, you can tell the floor is sound, it's firm, even though the subfloor is kind of not the best shape. I'll cut some, this torn up linoleum out, but I don't have to. This flooring is so unique. I'll show you guys. It has the subfloor imperfections. I mean, it's layered. It has this isocore back. Um, maybe this is the vapor barrier, but it's also um, like rubberized. Like it's got a rubbery feel to it. This probably allows the floor to have a smooth, when you walk on it, just a firm, nice, soft touch to the walk. Like it won't be hard when you're walking on it, even barefooted. Like I'm loving these tiles, like these tiles are, are great. And they're expensive, like very expensive. Like this six planks was $68 per box without tax. So upward to like 75 bucks almost with tax per box. And you're getting six planks, but these are the huge planks. The smaller planks of course are cheaper, but they take up so much square footage. This is one box pretty much. Okay, I started, since I'm working from the right side of the, uh, my right, this the right side of the room, working my way out. I face the towels. As you can see, I face this notch this way and the slot on the back side. So I kind of angle them up and you drop them in place on an angle, kind of push them in a little slot and just let them lay down. And then get the mallet. Pop them in place. Got a smooth finish. Okay guys, today I'm painting cabinets and I got them masked up and everything, but I was gonna brush them and use a roller, a paint roller and a brush to kind of get into the corners of these cabinets. Well, a paint roller would probably did a good job for the um, cabinets. I got them masked up, but um, I opted to use my paint spray. I got an old Wagner, probably the first Wagner paint spray gun that they made that was on the market. Of course, they got way better ones now, but I'm getting amazing results using this Wagner paint spray gun. And I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, I got my first cut. I cut about 75, 80% of it. That's all the rest that far back. Just got about 25, 20% uh, to go. I'm gonna reverse the countertop and I'll make the cut to precision. Okay guys, the cabinets are painted and then trimmed, 
gotta do caulking, but the trim is flawless. That's what I do. Like I, I make amazing cuts with trim. So, trim is done. Look at the beautiful cabinets. I gotta put the handles on here. The handles are on the cabinet, hood range is on. Uh, yeah, everything is pretty much uh, ready to go with the cabinets and the countertops. But today is the backsplash. And I'll show you guys the towel. I'm using a glass towel, so they're expensive. Going with this is like a dark grayish color. Mohawk. Guys, here I am. Um, just did all the amazing trim work around the door. Hung the blinds. Uh, I'm doing bifold doors now. Just hanging you know, the tracks for those. Just mounted this right now. And now, when you can see my line, so I can make it climb or level with the tracks. Okay, guys, here's the fireplace. I've hung quite a few of these. Um, they're extremely nice. Uh, comes with the remote control, some little rocks for decor. Okay, guys, the install is complete. Just got to plug up and see what we got. I clamped it off. All screws are mounted. And it looks great on the wall, guys. It looks really, really good. Not too big, not too small, 50 inches wide. Uh, I did it before the carpet install guys be, come here. They'll be here uh, next week sometime, but just making all my finishing touches up um, before the carpeting guys. Hey guys, Terrence here. Today I'm gonna show you guys the property I've just finished by myself, um, took me about two and a half months, almost three months, about two months and three weeks. And this is literally my third place I've done within a year. I've done the place we're living in right now completely. Pretty much my brother came over, my older brother came over and helped me a little bit with the plumbing, but other than that, done that work by myself. Uh, I'm just commenting to get the videos. I've lost a lot of my videos by some mysterious force, has swiped a lot of videos from off my computer. I filmed pretty much the whole entire process of all three of these houses within this year. Since November of last year, I filmed pretty much every single thing I've done. You know, I've lost a lot of my videos. They they there, but they won't play. And just trying to figure that out. But right now, guys, I'll show you this place. Just finished it. Um, it was a mess. And I did the best I could with the limited budget I had. And I'll show you guys the place right now. Just finished putting that door up. Brand new door. Uh, it's a small door, so I have to cut it to size, I have to cut it. This was a, well, this is a small opening. I have to cut this door, um, a regular size door to fit this opening. And I put a really nice weather strip down there and some new hinges, new handle. Okay, let's get our bearings here first. This is the garage, um, side entry. Let me show you guys the back. Patio, just pretty much got this a few years ago. New patio doors, but look at the yard, guys. Everything is gone, but the, even the old shed back there. These people behind us is a mess. Look at all the trash in the yard, but it's a whole nother video. Um, whole yard is empty. Okay, we're pushing. And uh, the garage. Pretty much empty. So um, we just got the side and did also uh, a couple years ago, 2017. All new side. So uh, show you guys. Okay, guys, here we go. We're in here. Um, uh, I got new outlets, new outlets, new switches. Pretty much throughout the house. Uh, but I want to just kind of say a few things. The house was built in 1971. Uh, the current, all the rooms ran by 
an outlet, you have to use the switch to turn the outlet on to power the lamp you put in the room, which sucks. So I put all the lighting in this house, all the updating lighting you guys are about to see is I did it by myself. Let me show you guys um, all the updated lighting I did in the house. And that whole house is, um, in its entirety since I'm completely done with it now. And you guys can see my work. With the limited budget, guys, the budget was so small in this place, I had to make a lot of things work. So let's go check it out. Lighting is dim right now. It's my pattern, kind of give light throughout the entire room. I don't want no dark spots, so brighten it up. And you can kind of see the beautiful work. Got some paint chipping right, right here. It's okay, I'll fix that. Uh, let's start downstairs first, guys. So, I don't want to walk over here. You guys can see the new carpet is in. Uh, I don't have more shoes anyway, so I can kind of walk around and show you guys the work. Uh, we're going to the kitchen last. I'm turn the light off. Just went with a standard um, three bulb light fixture up there. Uh, the closet. Just leaving it back here until the house sells. Since we're going on the market with it, uh, one thing I want to show: all the doors were our original doors, so just kind of painted them, put some new handles on, them, new knobs on them. So let's go to first bedroom. This is one of the bigger rooms in the house. Added those recess lighting myself. No switches, outlets. Painted those bifold doors. The doors are probably just as old as this house. Turned out really, really nice. Really nice. Um, we did add new windows in this house in like 2008 or nine. So we got the grids. The windows are pretty much still in uh, excellent condition. First one. Painted those as well. New handles, new knobs. They kind of go with my theme, the black look. Another bedroom. Gotta put the bifold doors up in this room. for the closet. One of, this is the smallest bedroom in the house. Bathroom. Uh, saved some money with our old vanity. Uh, it's okay, kind of trimmed around it. New toilet. Hung some shower curtains, guys. Kind of. I spruce things up around here. Uh, this was almond, so I painted it, guys. I finished, I refinished this. This is a really nice sink. I don't want to just kind of go waste money on a new sink. So, new faucet, new uh, plumbing, and I just refinished this. Turned out really nice. All right, moving along. I was gonna put a. And I still may do it. Put the Wi-Fi thermostat here. We do the kitchen last. Let's go upstairs. Ran a paneling all the way up the wall. As you can see, the amazing work. First bedroom upstairs. I got a Hang some bifold doors up for this closet. It has a access to the attic in this side of the house. And <clears throat> just gotta put some bifold doors in here. Second bedroom. It's the biggest bedroom. Another access to the attic. Closet. Yeah, and lighting. So let me show you guys the light. I 
put it in. The mirror trim. Here, just um, one of the smaller rooms. This one like kind of pretty much did it for this room. I could have put two in here and I was debating. Budget was so, so low, but it's nice. And I'll show you guys at night how bright that is and how it brightens up the room. We got some dark spots, but um, yeah, I just did that. So show you guys the upstairs bathroom. This is the nicer bathroom. Every, everything's in here is new with the expensive snapstone towel. Put some really nice shower curtains here. Just kind of spruce things up. Uh, really nice medicine cabinet. New vanity. New sink. New toilet. New faucet. New plumbing. New medicine cabinet. The dual mirror is lighted. I'm trying to turn the light off right here. Yeah, this is the better bathroom, not the two. Uh, so let's go see the kitchen, which is to me um, where I put all the time and effort in and the, the bu budget. The budget was about a little under eight grand, guys. If that house had to get completely stripped out and done, and the carpet was almost three thousand, so shows you how much I have to work with. All right, let's go check out. Got the beautiful life proof towel. I don't know if you guys watched the previous video I started with the upload, but did an amazing job with this towel and the trim as well. Hung some uh, new bifold drawers. Look at the work. So the lighting here was just a fixture here and a fixture there. But I put 15, well, 14 lights in here with all the torch LEDs. You can kind of see all the lighting. New cabinets at the bottom, all brand new cabinets. Use some of the B paneling I had left over to kind of give it a, a, a uh, just a kind of unique look. And open this up. Brand new patio door. Um, precision cut trim yeah but I gave that just wanted to give it a unique look I put it everywhere I put it on this side of the stove put it here as you guys can see I don't want to cut no corners and I trim the mess I trim the uh, this kitchen super good all the way into the pantry uh, Yeah, but the life proof flooring, guys, I love it. I love the life proof flooring. This floor is super uh, durable and it, it feels great to even walk on. It feels super good. Ran it off into the closet. New bike for a door there as well. Uh, appliances about a year old, but they're really nice. Gotta clean it off. Glass towel, back splash, all around on both sides. So let me, let me show you guys the lighting. Let me close the shade back up. And let me show you guys the lighting in here. Like I said, it wasn't no lighting pretty much. So it has a dimmer here, the dimmer. The main two lights. This turn, this switch turns on the bifold door lights. I zoned it out, the bifold door lights. And you go into this side, this outside, this is, well this is the outside switch for the outside light, outside this door, patio door light. This is the switch for these cabinet doors, the upper cabinets. I repainted those and I took them completely apart, totally everything off of them and refinished them and repainted them. This switch here is for this side. I purposely put the two lights over the sink. One light, you can see, 
dead on with the cabinets on all of them. Just kind of paid very close attention to detail with that work. And um, as you guys can see, it's pretty much lit up in here. Especially at night, it's just like it's on showcase. It's beautiful. A lot of work here with the limited budget I had, guys. Did the best I could. If the budget was crazy, I'll get crazy with it. Like, I'm just... By me enjoy doing it, it just comes out. So I have to kind of cut any corners when I have a super good budget. But I think I, it turned out great for the budget I had. Uh, yeah, I can afford the granite countertop. So I think the laminate was good. I had to cut the miter cut in this and put it together. And uh, also added this. We didn't have this, had this before. This is new. Old Lazy Susan. And new plumbing. Uh, just to show you guys the detail of my work, I just <laughs> uh, even cut the, as you can see, <laughs> I cut the back of the this cabinet to fit the pipes as I pushed it back in place because those pipes were old and fragile. You don't want to mess anything up. So added a new, I could have soldered a new valve there, but that was a quick fix. And the shark bikes are really good. I'll use a couple of them. I've never had any issues with the shark bikes fitting. So, uh, yeah, I gotta put that soap bottle back up on the soap dispenser, the new soap dispenser, new faucet, new um, handles. Yeah, guys, but this is it. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, worked really hard in this place by myself. Uh, I'll let me show you guys what I did also in here. Kind of utilized the rest of the countertop I had left from cutting off this countertop. And I made a little laundry uh, folding table. And kind of built the stand from scratch. Painted it with some little paint I had left over. Could have did a little bit better job on the paint, but I was out of money and out of budget. So, you know, I built that from new wood out of scratch and uh, had this countertop on there. So I glued it on the wood and it turned out nice, man. Got some nice countertop space here for folding clothes or something. So uh, just wanted to show that to you guys. But guys, if you like this video, if you think I did a good job or you think I did a crappy job, let me know in the comment section. Um, solo project by myself. Uh, Hopefully it sells quickly. Uh, a lot of hard work, 20, 22 hour days, seven days a week. Uh, I don't watch TV and I, I love to read. So this was here when I do lay down, I'll read and or well, just watch some older shows on my phone before I fall asleep. But I was just pretty much laying on concrete here, 20, 22 hour days and pushing myself to the limit until I got this place done. It took me about three months, two and a half months. Well, two months, two weeks, well, almost two months and three weeks. So. Yeah, guys, just wanted to kind of show you guys the work. Uh, hope you found this video cool. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Got a whole bunch of more stuff I'll be uploading um, as I continue on uh, my path to kind of get where I want to be at. And uh, share, guys. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Terrence, and I'm out.